Technology related glitches marked the first day of school in the largest district in North Texas. And the superintendent of Dallas ISD told Jack Fink some problems may continue for a bit longer. On the top. Rob Shearer's three daughters in third and first grades and pre K spent their first day in school at home. They were excited to see their friends virtually and, uh, and start learning. There are a few of the 157,000 Dallas ISD students starting the year off virtually. When one couldn't get onto Zoom, they called the district only to hear this. Parents, we're experiencing technical difficulties. With when we called the school to try and resolve the Zoom issue, the phones were down. So, so we ended up contacting them via the apps that the teachers use to communicate with, and that that provided a great workaround. And Superintendent Michael Inahosa said Tuesday one of the technology-related issues centered around the district changing Zoom passwords to protect the system. The mistake we made was pushing out the how to change the password too late. And so therefore we had a flood of phone calls. We said call, call us if you have a problem with your password. And guess what? They did. And they brought down the system. He says the district will release a tutorial on how to change the password on their website tomorrow. And that phone glitches may continue because of the large volume of calls. Inahosa visited Eddie Bernice Johnson Elementary School Tuesday morning to kick off the year. Most students can return to in-class instruction October 5th, but students changing schools, such as those entering kindergarten, middle, and high schools for the first time, can return September 28th. Um, but, but we are really looking forward to getting back to face-to-face, -to -face, hopefully sometime this fall. The superintendent also urged parents to return their surveys so that district gets an accurate count on who will be returning for in-person classes and who will be staying virtual. In Dallas, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.